People have basic needs, and in many cases, those needs are not fully met. We often search for things relating to security, significance, and love, and in the best circumstances, parents can give that to their children, and more importantly, point them to our Heavenly Father, who is able to provide every good and perfect gift. This Father's Day, I reflect on three groups of people. First, for those of you who had fathers who raised you well, honored the Lord, and were there for you, take some time to thank God for that blessing, as well as honor your father in some way this Father's Day. Even though nobody will have the perfect earthly father, I know many of them try their best to raise their children well and to love them as respectable dads, and that's worthy of great honor. I know many of us had great dads. I know I had one myself. That's a real blessing, so show them honor. When the Bible says, honor your father and mother, which was one of the original Ten Commandments in Exodus 20, and the first one with a direct promise attached, the term means to make great. In Hebrew, kaved is used, literally meaning heavy. As an illustration, in weighing metals to consider their cost, the heavier their volume, the greater their value. So if our parents are still here, we are to treat our parents as precious and weighty, literally not taking them lightly. We need to show that they're important, and we need to show them proper respect. So take some time, write them a letter, call them on the phone, or just spend some time with them. But honor your father and mother. And hey, even though it's Father's Day, it's if you, if you have your mother still here, it's not a bad thing to show her honor as well. It's a good thing to do. Second, partly as a subset to the first, if you had a great earthly father and they have passed, I pray that you have God's comfort in this time. If you've been granted children to nurture, I pray that God gives you strength and joy as you experience that blessing from him. Even though we all will die at some point, unless Jesus returns first, we can look to our heavenly father through times of loss and get real comfort. Third, for those who have had abusive fathers, I pray that you can find comfort and healing in your Heavenly Father. Any abuse can cause serious damage, and I pray that children, you can find forgiveness for them. And fathers who are guilty of this, I pray that you would repent of this and seek restoration and walk in gentleness toward your children. Any abuse can cause people to project their earthly father's mistakes onto how they view God, their Heavenly Father. And I want to highlight a few verses on the great love that the Heavenly Father has for you. He draws us in loving kindness. Jeremiah 31, verse 3. The Lord has appeared of old to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. He's compassionate. Psalm 68, verses 5 and 6. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity. And I believe this is the Father's heart for us in Luke chapter 15, dealing with the prodigal son. And he arose and came to his father, but when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. He gives good gifts. James 1 verse 17, Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. And God, just as the prodigal son's father, wants to show us love and give us good gifts and bless us, in the same line of thought, Matthew chapter 7, verse 11, If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? In a parallel passage there in Luke chapter 11, verse 13, How much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? What a great gift. God gives us good gifts. He desires to be our Father, and he desires us to live in holiness as well. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 17 and 18, Therefore come out from among them, and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Through him we are not cast out. He gives us the spirit of adoption. Romans chapter 8, verse 15, it says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The notion of him being our Abba Father is the same as referring to him as our loving, caring dad. He wants to cherish us just as the father of the prodigal son cherished his son who returned. If you have been running from God, stop now and return to him. He loves you and he wants to bless you. Even though our father and mother may forsake us, the Lord will take us up and care for us. In a real display of his love for us, we can be children of God through faith in Jesus. John chapter 1 verse 12 but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. And I pray that you accept that love of God by trusting in the gift of salvation that he offers us through Jesus. 
We see in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, but God demonstrates his own love toward us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And the whole narrative of Romans 5 with us sinning, that's us being God's enemy and going totally against what he would want for us. And yet God wants to be with us and he wants us to be reconciled to him through his son. So I pray you accept that love. And I pray you have a great Father's Day. I pray that our Heavenly Father grants you joy, peace, healing in your life. And if you don't know him personally, that you follow Jesus. And in fact, let's deal with that now. And uh, let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. We pray that your love is so apparent in and through our lives. We forgive any sins against us. Forgive our sins, which are so many. Help us be faithful in being good representatives of you. I pray for the fathers out there. Bring them to you. Let them treat their children well and honor you in how they raise them. I pray for all of us. Lord, help us honor our parents, remember them with grace, and give us strength as we need in each life situation. I pray also for those who don't know you yet. Show them your love. Let them come to know you through faith in your Son and his sacrifice for them. And I pray all of this, Lord. Grant us a great Father's Day. In Jesus' name, amen. And I pray you have a great Father's Day. Have a great weekend and go in the comfort and joy of the Lord. God bless you.